everyone, so today's video is going to be on star mistakes to avoid if you are petite. Now a little bit of background, I'm 4 foot 11, so I'm classed in the petite category. So basically when you go shopping, shops usually put their clothes in petite, regular and tall. So if you're kind of classed as shorter than the regular, so usually it's between kind of being 5 foot 3 and 5 foot 4, you will be put into the petite category, which basically means all the clothes in that collection are made to kind of fit you better so the jeans will be shorter than what they would be in the regular and in the tall so just kind of a little bit of an introduction on that before I get into the video so today I thought I would make a video kind of talking about all the kind of tips and tricks you can do which will help flatter your frame if you are also short like me as well so I hope you enjoy this video and I'm just gonna get straight into it so tip number one is to kind of not always wear baggy clothing. Now I absolutely love wearing baggy clothing, especially around the house, but if you're kind of wanting to play with your proportions a bit more, then I would suggest if you're gonna wear something baggy, so I usually say if you're gonna wear a pair of like baggy joggers or a baggy pair of trousers, and by me saying baggy, I don't always just mean like super baggy styles, I just mean anything that's kind of a little bit more oversized or you know a wide leg style I would suggest styling them up with more fitted kind of pieces on the top so for example if you've got on a pair of kind of culottes which basically kind of have a wide leg detail um, I would wear them with kind of like a fitted top so it could be a long sleeved you know fitted top or a short sleeved fitted top just a top which is kind of fitted around your waist and also around your top and your arms because what this does it kind of plays with the proportions so that when you're short you're not wearing something baggy on top and then something baggy on the bottom which kind of just hides your whole shape by kind of bringing yourself in a little bit more it's super flattering and also kind of helps to elongate your kind of look too <laughs> you know vice versa as well so if you've got on like a very baggy sweatshirt maybe opt for a pair of leggings or you know some kind of fitted trousers i just think it looks so much more flattering if you are short as well and then just following on from that baggy jeans are such a huge trend at the minute we're definitely going for the kind of 90s 2000s style jeans which is crazy because i never thought we'd all kind of go away from the skinny jeans but because it's such a big trend right now to go for kind of more wide leg jean styles i'd also recommend if you are short to opt for something more tight fitted on the top as well just because it would be so much more flattering on you and you can still get away with styling the wide leg trend if you are short plus it is great if you are short with this wide leg trend because the jeans are kind of going straight down to our shoes which is mental because I've spent so much time looking for jeans that finish perfectly my ankle and now we're going for ones that hit our shoes it's just crazy why couldn't this happen years ago it saved me so much time searching for for the perfect jeans. So number two is wearing a loose fitted dress and not belting it. So if you are petite, a great way to style kind of your maxi dresses or you know loose shirt dresses or anything that's kind of baggy and loose again, it's always good to belt it around the middle. And you can belt your dresses with anything. You could belt it, you know, with just a piece of ribbon. You could belt it with you know so many different belt styles. You can get you know uh, braided belts, uh, western style belts, just a gold metallic belt, whatever kind of suits your style but it's always good to opt for a belt around a kind of oversized shirt dress or anything that's kind of just hanging off you it's always good to belt it in just because again it gives you more shape and it prevents the dress from drowning you if you are short so number three is wearing a cropped jacket which isn't quite cropped enough so what i mean by this is there's so many cropped jackets on the what is that there's so many cropped jackets on the market but because we're all kind of shorter that are watching this video uh, it can be quite difficult to find a cropped jacket which finishes perfectly so what i mean by finishing perfectly is you want a jacket which kind of finishes at this part of your waist so somewhere around here just kind of where your belly button is probably just a tiny bit higher than that so a lot of crop jackets from the regular sections are usually cropped for taller people so they would finish a little bit lower down. Now this is just kind of like on a one on one basis, sometimes those jackets can look great but sometimes they can fall a little bit too low and kind of hit our hip section and they aren't too flattering on a petite frame because they kind of cut you off at your hips and you want 
to be kind of more cut off kind of around your waist because it helps to make your legs look longer. So if you are searching for a cropped jacket, I would suggest shopping in the petite sections of different websites. I'm planning on doing a video about all my kind of favorite petite shops, so stay tuned for that video. But I'll also link some crop jackets down below too, but you wanna opt for a jacket which you know is gonna finish at the perfect point. So you could also shop from the regular section too, but opt for a jacket which it looks kind of shorter on the model, if that makes sense. So number four is wearing heels with everything. And I feel like it's such a kind of common misconception that if you are petite, that you should automatically wear heels with everything because you want to appear taller. And yes, it does work in some circumstances, but I don't want you to feel like you always have to wear a pair of heels because you're short. There's so many different ways you can kind of mix up your outfits to make you appear taller without having to wear heels. And although heels are great for kind of elongating your legs and you know physically making you look taller, there's so many other ways you can do it too and more comfortably without having to wear heels all day. If you are wanting to make your legs appear longer, you can do this so easily by matching the color of your kind of trousers or if you've got bare legs with an outfit, wear a pair of nude shoes. So you could wear a pair of kind of beigey nude flats if you're wearing a skirt and you don't want to wear a pair of heels or if you're wearing a pair of kind of like black tights you could wear a pair of black flats just try to match your shoe color to your leg or you know your trousers because this will really help to elongate your leg without you having to automatically always wear a pair of heels so number five is wearing too long bermuda shorts that's so hard to say but a big trend at the moment are those kind of casual fit shorts which are slightly longer so if you are again one Wanting to style this trend, I would suggest opting for a pair of the shorts from the petite section to make sure they finish at a perfect point. Because sometimes if you're wanting to wear these slightly longer shorts, by wearing a pair from the regular section, they'll just finish way too long and it will just mess up all the proportions and just kind of cut your legs off at the wrong place. So try and opt for a pair of petite Bermuda shorts or instead have a look in the regular section but see if there's some that are slightly shorter which you know will fall slightly longer on you so that it still works well with your proportions. Style mistake number six is an oversized bag. Now this can be pretty hard to kind of do if you know you take a big bag to work. Obviously this is not you know part of this whole thing. I'm talking about more your bags on the weekends and things like that. So if you are petite it's always good to opt for a slightly smaller bag as as again this plays with the proportions of your height and stuff a bit more and just looks a lot more flattering on a petite frame sometimes if you've got a big oversized bag it can kind of drown you a little bit and just make you appear so much shorter because of how big the bag is so again, if it is a weekend and you know you don't need your work bag with you, opt for a smaller bag because it will just be so much more flattering on your frame. And finally, point number seven is about the hemline of your skirts and dresses. So as a petite, it's always best to opt for a skirt length that is either above the knee or below the knee, but never at the knee. So what I mean by that is any skirt, which is a mini skirt or a midi skirt or a maxi skirt, is absolutely fine on a petite frame. I feel like everyone thinks that petite people can't wear maxi styles and that is completely not true. It definitely works and it actually helps you appear taller because it's kind of like all one dress or you know the skirt. It just helps to elongate your legs. But anyway, don't opt for a skirt or you know, a dress which finishes directly at your knee just because this kind of cuts you off in the middle again and make sure your legs appear a lot shorter. Whereas if it's above the knee, it kind of elongates your legs a little bit more. And if it's a midi or a maxi style, it kind of works because you can just see a little bit of your ankle or maybe none of your ankle. But if you kind of finish your skirt right at your knee, it just kind of chops your legs in half and it's just not a flattering look if you are short. So I would definitely opt for, you know, any style above or below the knee, but never at the knee. <laughs> so that is it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did like it, because that would really help me out. 
Honestly, I know I say that in every single video, but it really, really does help me. Every comment, like, and subscribe really does mean so much to me, and it also helps me to continue to make these videos because it helps to push this video out to other people that would like it too. I hope the tips in this video helped you. If you do have any questions, please just leave them down below in the comments box, and I will try and get back to you. Have a great day, and I'll speak to you all in the next video. Bye, guys.